Hi, so today I'm going to try my hand at making beeswax candles. Um, this has been a project that I wanted to do for a couple of years, but why not during these quarantine times? Give it a try. So I'm going to try it and I'm gonna take you along with me for it. And let's hope I do them and I do it right. I got some essential oils I'm gonna put in here too. So we're gonna see how this goes. Stay tuned. So the first thing that I have is this book that I picked up off of Amazon. It's Beeswax Alchemy. So this is where I got my recipe from. And I also found a recipe online. So then we have clothespins because this is how you hold your wick inside of your container. I also have some focus, Young Living Lemon essential oils that I'm gonna use for my flavor. These are the wicks that I have. Um, so these are hemp, I want to say they're hemp. When I ordered them off of Amazon, I think they were hemp because I wanted to try to get something organic. Here is my container. So, so this is what I'm going to place inside of a pot. The recipe tells you to have a double boiler. So I don't have a double boiler, so I'm gonna put this pot. I ordered it off of Amazon as well for beeswax making equipment. And we have yellow beeswax. And I want to say, it was three pounds. I can't remember right off hand when I ordered it from Amazon, but it was three pounds. So this is what we're gonna use. We're going to use like I have a small mason jar and then I have a I think 12 ounce mason jar that I'm going to use. And my recipe also calls for coconut oil. So we're going to see how this turns out. Okay, so I have my recipe. And my recipe says that I need to, let's see, make sure you use the So I need one pound of beeswax. Okay, let's see. I need one pound. I have a scale, so we're going to see pounds. I put it to where it reads pounds. So I need to pour one pound of beeswax into my bag. I also have a pot of water. I just started. So it's on boil, it's starting to boil. So I have to keep it until it boils. Let's see, how much is a pound? It's almost a pound. So that was three cups, I wanna say. Three cups of these left so far. Almost a pound. Eh, that's a little bit over. So I would say three cups will make it a pound, three full size cups. A little bit more. So it says pour the beads 
beeswax into the picture. Make sure to use the metal because it will mix the impossible. Place the metal container into a large pot of water and bring to a boil. So I'm placing inside of my pot. I think I probably should have used another pot. Let's change pots. So we're going to take the beeswax that I just put in there. So we're waiting for the water to boil. So we're gonna show you the water and the beeswax. <laughs> See, right now we're just waiting on um, water to boil. So I've got it on about five or six, so we're gonna put it on seven. And we're gonna get it to boil and wait it out. One of the things that I read online was to use a skewer to stir. So that's what I'm trying to do. It hasn't started boiling yet, but we're gonna wait this out. I know it's a time consuming process, so we're here for the long haul. If you can see, it's already started to melt. Now, the recipe said I needed to turn my heat down to medium after it started to boil. So I did turn it down. And so now we're just waiting, just waiting for it to continue to melt before we add our coconut oil. Um, yep. So we'll add our coconut oil once it's completely melted. One of the things in the recipe that I'm using, it um, talks about, where did it go? Um, to make sure that your beeswax is completely melted before we add the coconut oil and before we add our oil to make it smell. So... It's not supposed to be a really lengthy process, but so far so good. I'm not really feeling bad about it. Um, the only thing I probably would change is the pot that I use. Like I showed you in the first pot when I started the video, that wasn't a very good one. So um, I'm going to change the pot. I'm going to use this pot that I'm using now. That's the only thing that I would change as of right now in the process. See, it's melting much faster now. I'm not having to stir as much. It's still a clump in the center of wax that hasn't been melted, but it's a nice, nice bunch. I didn't know which size mason jar, like how much one pound of melted wax would make. So I have two small jars and then the 12 ounce one. So we're just gonna test it out and see how it goes. Cause I didn't want to fill too much up in one and then not have enough. So I'd rather do two small jars rather than just one big jar and then only have enough for a half a candle. So the recipe calls for a half a cup of coconut oil. So since the beeswax is almost done melting, that's when I add the coconut oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out my coconut oil. I have a half a cup of coconut oil ready once the um, beeswax finished melting. 
See, we don't have that much farther to go. We've just got this little clump. Once we get it melted, we can take the boiler off the heat and add our coconut oil and our lemon oil. So the beeswax is completely melted. I made sure I went around the rim just to make sure there was no particles of beeswax. So we're going to take it out of the water and we're going to add our coconut oil and wait until it's melted completely dissolved because according to the instructions the coconut oil helps the candle to burn longer so it slows down the, the beeswax and it helps your candle to burn longer so we're gonna take this off of the heat so we've added in the coconut oil and we're waiting on it to dissolve then I'm going to add some essential oil in while this is cooling and melting. So we're gonna add our essential oils in while that's doing that. So now we're pouring in some drops of our essential oil. It didn't really give a measurement of how many drops I was supposed to put in. So we're still stirring, just waiting for it to melt. It's not really taking very long, so we'll stir it a little bit more. And we'll go ahead and put our wicks. I think this is actually just gonna only make one of those small mason jar candles. So we're gonna see. But we're gonna put our wick together. So one of the tips that I got from YouTube, not in the book, the book doesn't tell you this. The book tells you to glue your wick down with hot glue. This one tells me to take my wick and put it in the center of my clothes, I mean my clothes pin and to rest it that way and it keeps it centered. So now, before this cools down, we're gonna pour. Let's see. I think we may have enough to do the second one. Let's see. If not, I'm not going to be upset about it. We're just going to go with this. And I was correct. We have enough beeswax for two candles. So, there we go. So now we wait on them to cool. One thing I noticed that I didn't pay attention to, but I was a little bit off, but I'll know to do the next time. Do you see the candle wick on this one? It's not centered because I was trying to multitask. And when I got ready to go move it again, it had kind of already set. But this one, I got this one just right. It's in the center. So now we're just going to wait on them to cool off. And then we're going to trim the wicks. And then we got candles. I'm so excited because that didn't really take as long as I thought it was going to take. And it wasn't as complicated as I thought it was going to be. So I am super excited about that. I made candles. So I can't wait until they cool completely off so then we can see if we have enough um, essential oils in it to see if it smells because this is my first time making candles so thanks for watching with me oh my god I'm so excited, I'm so excited.